Hi, my name is Jose Clemente, and with my partner Carlos Zambrano, I'm going to talk about the FM radio transmitter. We are learned to the degree of telecommunications, and our teacher is the master David Baca. First, we have the block diagram. In the block diagram, we can appreciate the components of the FM radio transmitter. The system consists basically, basically of there are two frequencies, the carrier frequency and the audio frequency. Now, we have that the audio frequency is used to modulate the carrier frequency. And the FN signal is obtained by, by differing the, the carrier frequency by allowing the audio frequency. The FN transistor consists of oscillator to produce the radio frequency signal. Now, how does a time circuit work? Well, we have an initial circuit where we are going to assume that the capacitor is a rate charge. With a switch, when we close the switch, we are going to, to assume that the capacitor is going to act at a voltage source that is going to discharge. But this capacitor is going to send a current in a direction to the coil. Now, the coil will be charged and have an we will have an electromagnetic field that will send a current to the capacitor will obtain an inverse polarity. When the capacitor is a rate charge with inverse polarity, it's going to send a current in the open situation. So the system is going to create a, the oscillator right? and we have the, the cycle for a long time. Now the regression equation and solution of a time circuit. Well, now we have a system of LC circuit where the coil and capacitor are in parallel. The thing with the with the Kirchhoff voltage law, we have this expression. And now replacing the the value of the voltage of each component will be this equation. Now we have to assume that in the coil we have a current and the capacitor will have a current in the opposite direction and now we will going to express these currents are, are, uh, as an only one current of the system and we are going to replace in the integral to, to 0 to t and we have now this expression where the voltage of the capacitor will be the initial voltage now, applying the Laplace transform, have the expression in, in function of the frequency. And now we can express the current in function of the frequency. Now, applying inverse Laplace transform, we have as the current in function of the time will be the, the current out. And finally, we have the expression of the current out in function of the time, the value of the core, and the value of the capacitor. Now the resonance in the time circuit. Basically, we have in a uh, in this time of circuit, the impedance of each component have to be equal, and it means that we can express the resonance frequency in or in function of the value of the coil and the capacitor. I talk about of the applications of the time circuit, and the resonance effects of the the LC circuit has many important applications in the signal processes of the communication systems. Um, for example, uh, the common application of the time circuit uh, is the tuning, the tuning radio transmitter. Uh, for example, when you uh, tune a radio to a particular station, the LC circuit are a set of resonance for the particular, particular carrier frequency. And other application, and could be uh, a series a series resonant circuits provides the voltage magnification in the same order uh, uh, the current the current the magnification current why do you use a cylindric time circuit in the radio frequency transmitter we have a the anything transmitter circuit requires an oscillation the time circuit is derived from the LC circuit to store energy from the oscillations. The input of audio signal from the mic penetrates to the bias in the transmitter. 
which model the LC time circuit carrier frequency in the NFN format. The audio signal from the output of the microphone it sends the pre amplifier with both of the level of the modulation that signal. The radio frequency oscillator can generate the correct signal. Uh, another point is the both of the modeling of the carrier signal is sent to end to modulator. Finally, the, the power amplifier use increases the power levels and wave. This wave finally passes to the antenna can be transmitted.